I think that VR still has a very long way to go. I think there's still too many people that cannot be in the VR world for more than 10 or 15 minutes without being nauseated, being sick. And so until that hurdle is mitigated, I think that uh, it's gonna be a hard row. Augmented reality, conversely, I think, is not going to have any of those problems, or at least fewer of them. And I believe they'll bring board games and social games back in a very, very important way. Augmented reality is going to allow those things to be dynamic, to be changeable. You can be playing in a pit in the table or a castle on top of the table, bringing 3D-ness back into the world. I like it a lot. The best virtual reality is actually reality. You know, it's the highest resolution you can get. And so, story rooms, escape rooms, adventures in which you basically dress a set and then immerse the player with a certain construct. That is really fun. If you've been to Sleep No More or Fiora Zabruta, those are indicative of a direction that is just starting to be explored. I think we are entertainment grazers, in which we love to go to an entertainment smorgasbord. That's what amusement parks are about. The arcade has actually failed to do its job of transitioning high-tech from the labs to people before it hits the home. We've identified about 30 technologies that the normal public haven't seen, and we're gonna be all over that, bringing it in this micro amusement park. I just feel like you guys are going to love it. <laughs>